Many different types of equipment are used in the steel construction industry. Because steel is so heavy, equipment is a necessity. Forklifts and overhead cranes are used excessively inside a steel fabrication shop. Even a small piece of steel can weigh hundreds of pounds. For example, a one inch thick sheet of plate, eight foot wide by 20 foot long, which is a standard sheet, weighs 6,500 pounds. This particular overhead crane has a 10 ton block and a 20 ton block. This allows with the correct rigging up to 40,000 pounds to be picked at one shot. Equipment used outdoors usually requires maximum capacities and heavy tires. Tires and rigging materials used must be able to withstand some major tonnage. These particular pieces of equipment all have the ability to lift a load, depending on the weight, and be completely mobile. This makes it much easier to handle steel in and out of the shop. The travel lift has the ability to drive over an open trailer and be completely mobile with heavy loads. Construction of tall buildings are done by tower cranes. The tower crane is fixed to the ground with a concrete slab, and sometimes attached to the side of the structure. Tower cranes give the best combination of height and lifting capacity. Long horizontal jib is the part of the crane that carries the load. The counter jib carries a counterweight, usually of concrete blocks. While the jib suspends the load to and from the center of the crane, the crane operator either sits in the cab at the top of the tower or controls the crane by radio remote control from the ground. In the first case, the ca operator's cab is most usually located at the top of the tower attached to the turntable, but can be mounted on the jib or partway down the tower. Lifting hook is operated by the crane operator using electric motors to manipulate wire rope cables through a system of shivs. The hook is located on the long horizontal arm to lift the load which also contains its motor. Structural steel is used in the erection of multi-story buildings, stadiums, arenas, hospitals, towers, and bridges. Ironwork is assembled a structural framework in accordance with engineer drawings. Many other components are involved in the erection of a building. Concrete works with steel structures hand in hand. It is used for piers, footings, slabs, buildings, and bridges. Historically, iron workers mainly worked with raw iron. Today, they utilize many different materials, including ferrous and non-ferrous metals, plastics, glass, concrete, and composites.
Let's well, like the shop. Welding is done out of the job site. While welding in a field, a welding rod is used, which does not need any shielding gas. Erecting a steel structure is a very dangerous job. Many safety precautions must be taken to eliminate any major accidents. Safety nets, harnesses, and hard hats are just a few necessities needed while erecting steel. Steel is the skeleton of our cities, the strength of our bridges. Steel construction provides many jobs. It is a profession that you don't need a college degree for, but can make a pretty good living doing. It can be dangerous, but very rewarding at times. Change, I can change, I 